Hey everybody, it's Chris Welch of The Verge, and we're checking out the brand new Fuji X-T2. Now for the better part of two years, I've used the X-T1 as my everyday camera. It's my favorite camera ever, because Fuji's done a great job bringing it new features, better autofocus, and stuff like that. But now the time has come for a brand new model entirely. Now this is not our full review, it's more so of a first look at what's new. And it's not a big reinvention of what the X-T1 was, but it's a lot of small changes that add up to something pretty fantastic. So the two cameras look super similar. The X-T2 is a bit heavier, a bit larger. Uh, there are a few differences on the dials and around back, but for the most part, they're pretty much identical. So probably the biggest change is the rear display. Uh, now, not only does it go up and down, but it actually goes out to the side, so you can make some tighter shots, be it video or photos. So that's pretty handy. I wish it moved a little bit more than it does. They went about halfway, uh, but it's a nice change. Should be pretty useful in certain circumstances. So there are some other cool changes too. There are two SD card slots versus one on the old model and a 3.5 millimeter mic jack as well. So as opposed to using the buttons on bottom to focus, the X-T2 now uses this really nice joystick, which is really easy to control and a lot better than the old method. So the X-T2 has a 24 megapixel sensor, the X-T1 had 16, and those eight megapixels make a big difference. Your photos are sharper and you've got more room to crop and edit and just kind of mess around with them. So Fuji's also bumped up ISO up to 12,800. The X-T1 stopped out at 6,400, so you've got more flexibility for low light and dark photos. There are more autofocus points. You can choose 91 or 325, which is pretty crazy. So it's super easy to just dial in on something to focus on in your shot. So the X-T2 also gets 4K video for the first time, which is nice to have, even though Fuji's not really known for video quality necessarily. So if you buy the X-T2, you should probably consider this new battery grip as well. Uh, it'll hold three batteries, counting the one inside the camera, so you'll be set for days and days on a charge. And there's a boost mode that when you turn it on, you can take 11 shots per second, which is pretty nice for sports and action scenes. So what do all these changes mean for picture quality? Well, the X-T1 was great. It's a bit too soon to really speak for the X-T2. Again, this is pre-production, not the final version, so things could change. But so far, photos are sharp, detailed, colorful, and they look great straight out of camera too, so there's not much post-processing necessary. Fuji says the X-T2 is coming soon for around the same price as the X-T1, so look for it later on this year. For more on tech and cameras and everything else, check out our channel at youtube.com slash The Verge. And there's 3.5 millimeter millimeter and a mic input. Uh, cool. And uh, you add eight, make, check us out, uh, check us out on the version. <laughs>